guys welcome back to the channel so it's athletics today it started today in the all africa games 18th of march this week the athletic games will end all africa games will come to an end uh, but we're also looking at the international break 22nd of march ghana is taking on nigeria and updates have come in uh, from the squad that was released on saturday we know uh, david akologo was called up we know uh, diomande was called up uh, for the ghana national team but it looks like those two players will not make it and a replacement has been called in we're also going to talk about one of the main reasons why otto ado was appointed as the head coach of the ghana black stars Dai, who was part of the select selection committee uh, that was put together by the fa to look for a new head coach which has given a reason why Otoado was the main candidate for the Ghana Black Stars job. But as usual, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Click on that notification bell to get more updates. So this Friday, Ghana will take on Nigeria. The Saturday will be the closing ceremony for the All Africa game. So on Friday, we are looking to organize a watch along for the Ghana versus Nigeria game. And my good friends from Football Fans Tribe will be here in Ghana. We will be hosting them and hopefully we will beat them and sack them back home to Nigeria. So if you're in and around uh, Accra, it's where the location location has not been set yet we will update you accordingly on that front but they will be coming in and we'll have an interesting time together watching this game Ghana versus Nigeria let's jump right into it and talk about the latest updates coming in from the Ghana Black Stars it has to do with a new player called in Forsen Amankwa is his name he has been called in who many have talked about a lot and uh, called for his inclusion will be included finally the rb southbeck midfielder has received a debut black stars call up uh, for the friendlies against nigeria and uganda the 21 year old is a late call up and it was because elisha also picked up an injury during Oxes league game over the weekend against kain uh, now mohammed diomandi an ivorian also named in the squad is unlikely to feature in the window as he's unlikely to complete the naturalization time a process in time it will be interesting to see how it goes so toado had named a team over the weekend uh, but amankwa is now expected to join the squad in morocco with the midfield looking light amankwa is yet to play for the black stars or any of the country's youth teams but was included in chris's 55-man squad for the african cup of nations a former wafa player is part of the young players tracked by the gfa in the past few months so it comes as no surprise uh, that he has uh, been considered they have sent an invitation to salzburg uh, has begun processes to sort out the midfielders moroccan visa and uh, amankwa played in the ghana premier league with wafa before moving to europe to join salzburg uh, where he was loaned out to leferenberg uh, he returned to Salzburg this season and has features prominently for them in the first team in the league and in the uefa champions league he plays as an attacking midfielder as a number 10 uh, back and also deputized as an eight the nemo voted midfielder stated earlier this year he's working hard to play in the national team and will now have a chance to play for ghana so first in amankwa will join the team in morocco tomorrow is the day that they will fly off most of the players are expected to land in morocco for that game on friday forcing amankwa will be with the team and those that have been called up will join up in morocco marrakesh for that game and uh, it will be an interesting game ghana versus nigeria is always this one is being called a friendly but that rivalry we cannot call any match between those two countries a friendly it will be a time to gain bragging rights it will be a time uh, to see who will uh, be on top after 90 minutes we will have the chance uh, to see who makes it out alive in marrakesh morocco and escapes uh, the dangers uh, the hot waters of fans and everyone involved in this ghana will hope and also other will hope for a winning start if not a good performance uh, nigeria and the Gravon in the interim will hope that he can uh, deliver what he delivered to them before they capitulated versus ghana in the world cup qualifiers all to play for it's a friendly but be sure that these two teams will not take things lightly on the pitch on friday my next story has to do with why Otoado was selected as the next Black Stars head coach. And uh, I, uh, who was part of the select committee 
uh, for uh, Kojo Adai Mensa, uh, who was part of the select committee for the selection of the Black Stars head coach, had this to say. I think Otto started his coaching career in 2007 at Hamburg. The qualification to the World Cup for me was a big deal, and that was critical in proving that he has a winning mentality. Look, you don't have to insult our intelligence. Otto did an amazing job in qualifying Ghana for the World Cup, but that being the basis for making him the next Black Stars head coach, really, he put out a criteria there, and Otto did not even fulfill any of the criteria, except that he had been in the job for the Ghana Black Stars before. And some way, somehow, he had the courage and confidence to apply for a job where the criteria was stated, and he did not meet any. I need Otto Addo's kind of confidence in seeing the criteria listed there, and then still being able to apply for the job. I, for one, feel probably he did not apply for the job, but I cannot speculate on this point. That's how I feel, but I don't think I should be speculating on that front. But yeah, George Adai, that is not reason enough. He didn't even win that game. It was a draw. Probably you'd say he did enough to get us over the line and into the World Cup. And that is true. But if that is the basis why we hired Otto then I have to say we did a wrong job. Because I, for one, feel Otto is for the long term. He'll build our talent. Of course, he's a talent trainer scout at Borussia Dortmund. If that is the reason why, that is more tangible than the fact that he qualified us for the World Cup. It doesn't make any tangible reason or it doesn't make any sense to me that that will be the main reason for qualifying or for appointing Otto Addo as the head coach. But that is what Kojo Adai means, are one of the members of the team that was put together uh, to select the new head coach is saying. Let me know what you think in the comments box. An update on athletics here as Amati and Barnabas are into the final tomorrow for the 100 meters. They will compete tomorrow. Ghana has some athletes in the 400 meter women's final and the 100 meter women's semi-final as well. Nigeria is dominating here in those runs and it will be interesting to see if they can get gold once again here. Well, Ghana will accept them. We'll live to see tomorrow as we bring you more updates on our third channel, SF Sports. Be sure to subscribe to that one and click on that notification bell. As I said, a watch along on Friday with Football Fans Tribe is up and coming. Be sure to join us. I'll update you on the location. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening.